but it has to be 90 degrees. Okay. So once you set that up, basically you need to know your latitude and longitude or your location. Right. We are in Columbus here. Here at this location, it's 83 west and 40 north. So you write those down. And you can find the latitude and longitude on. Google Maps, you can find it. There's many places on our website also. Put your zip code, it will tell you the uh, latitude and longitude. Once you do that, then you need to set up the motor angle. It says latitude here, so you just set it up the same value as your latitude. Okay. Once you set that up, that's fixed, don't change it. You don't do any adjustments on this. Tighten it on both sides. Now, for each each motor, there's a different elevation angle on the disc. Okay, some motors have uh, because of the of the shaft angle and the way the the motor is designed, the, uh, the dish will have to work, you know, go along with the motor. So for this, the power pick motor, uh, the angle on the dish is around, you know, uh, 35 minus your declination angle, and the declination angle depends on your latitude. There's a table for that. For Columbus, it's about 6 degrees. Okay, so 35 minus 6, 29. So you set the dish elevation angle on 29. Okay? That's there. Now, the nice thing about this motor, it has, the shaft has a hole that goes through, and it's really centrally located. I mean, once you put the dish uh, pole mount through it, and you put the screw, this will be right at zero position. As far as it will be centered. Okay. Now, when you start with with your di with your motor and this, make sure that the, the shaft here is at zero position. Okay. It's not rotated like that. So when you when you try to aim at your true south, you know everything is in the same line. Okay. Uh, if I'm going too fast, stop me. Okay. If you guys understand what I'm talking about, that's good. Uh, every location has a true south because what what do we mean by true south? Because it's on the compass, there's a magnetic deviation. Okay. For Columbus, the magnetic deviation is about eight degrees. So you add that to your 180, that becomes 180, uh, 188. Okay. Uh, I think it's wait a minute. For Columbus, I believe it's uh, 6 degrees, not 8, not 8 degrees, so you set it up at uh, 186. So you hold the compass like that, stay a little bit far away from the disc, and aim at 186. Okay? And then just eyeball it, and uh, you know, set up this whole thing at, at 186. Okay? Tighten these, but don't tighten them too much, because we still might need to adjust the true south angle. Okay? And basically, the reason why we use the true south angle because that's the highest point in the arc in the distance. So once you set that up, now you're ready to uh, align it. Uh, the best way I use to align the motorized system is, is called USALS, U-S-A-L-S, in the receiver. And we'll go to the receiver, I'll show you how to do it. Basically, in the receiver, you enter your latitude and longitude in that menu. And then now the receiver and the motor knows will know your location. Where are you located? You might if you are in California, it's different than if you are in Ohio. Okay. With U cells, let's say uh, on the receiver we want to go to Galaxy 25, which is at 97 west. Our location here is 83 west, our longitude. So 97. That means the dish will need to move to the west. Okay. And we're looking at about. Uh, 14 degrees different. So the receiver will send the signal to the motor and it will tell it, okay, just move a certain amount of degrees. You know, uh, 14 degrees plus or minus, there's a few, you know, there's a calculation to it. It's not exactly the same. So it will move and it will stop. Right? Once it stops, if all the angles are correct and perfect, you should see a signal and quality show up on the screen right away. But if it's not, and most of the time it's, it might not be, you need to do a small adjustment. The first thing I do to adjust this is I adjust my true south. Okay? Because 
that's the, the angle that you might be off. Everything else you know that what angles you set it up. But the two south you might be off. So I hold this like that with both hands. I, I loosen these a little bit, not much. I don't want it to slide, I don't want it too loose to wobble around. And then I, I move it. Sm very small amount. Very slow. And I watch the screen. Watch the quality. Okay, if, if moving it, you know, let's say plus or minus five degrees in either direction does not show any quality at all on the screen, that means my dish elevation still might be off a little bit. So I, I adjust these, you know, maybe up a degree or down one degree, one degree at a time. Don't don't do too much. Okay. Yeah. Now do you, do you adjust for that signal when you haven't moved over to like 97 degrees? Yeah, exactly. Okay, you don't I, move it back to do south then. No. Try to no, I don't move it back that. to do south anymore. I leave it at the angle that it was at because that's the satellite we want to we want right. to get the signal from. So if I leave it at that, and then we do the adjustment again, small amount back and forth. Uh, most likely you will get the quality, you know, if you do the adju small adjustments here and small movements here. Once you get the quality, maximize the quality, see how much the quality is showing. Maximize, ma maximize it by using the true south adjustment. When you get the maximum you can get, tighten these. Now adjust the dish elevation up or down, very small amount, to get the highest you can get on the quality. Once you do that, tighten these. And that, that pretty much should put you on the arc. You know, you're done. But to verify if you got the whole arc, just go to a couple of satellites, one on the east, one on the west. You know, maybe the Galaxy 20, Galaxy 10 on the 23 west. I'll go to that. SPS 6, maybe, on the west, on the east. And see if you're getting the quality on those two. Most of the time, if you use use house, you use this method, you should be all set. Some of the things that sometimes people have issues with, and you know they don't they don't realize it, is that the mass is not vertical. They don't pay attention to that. They don't set it vertical. They think maybe a degree is not going to make a difference. It will make a difference. You know, that's that's for me when you because you will off. be wasting so much time. Right? You know, you will get maybe a satellite or two. But you won't get all the satellites. That's not right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the mass, the mass is the issue. And other, and then let's say the mass is is perfect, vertical, plumb, no problem, solid. When you put the dish and the motor on it, it's not moving. It's not like leaning one one way or the other. Then the other problem people do sometimes they they don't set this on the correct angle, on the latitude angle. And the manufacturers, you know, they, they really did a lot of uh, research on their motors. And once you set it to the latitude, it is a, you know, it is a precise alignment. Okay, so you really have to put it on the latitude. And there's like a, you know, this, this marker. Different motors have different markers on them. So make sure that is, that is set. And don't change that. There's no, no need. I would not tighten these too much because this is aluminum, you know, this is steel. That's right. You know, if you tighten it too much, you're going to strip the threads on the, on the motor. You know, just tight it, tighten it enough, but it's not, you know, you're not like trying to, uh, you know, it doesn't need to be too tight. Okay. Um, sometimes, some dishes, you might be off on this, on this here, on the angle, you know, that might be off a few degrees. I, w I would say some, that's, that's pretty normal on, on most of the dishes. You know, they are not precise. And also, the angles here, the, the scale, it breaks it by five degrees. It doesn't have like five, six, seven, eight. It goes from five to ten to fifteen to twenty. You know, and so then as you start readjusting it, it <laughs> starts to like scrape off. So you really don't exactly. know at that so point. So. so that might be also. Yeah. Always, you know, tighten these screws. You don't want to start with loose screws here because that will throw your angles off also. On the LMB, when you set up a motorized dish, always the LMB needs to be at zero skew. There's no need for it to be skewed. Because as you see, when the dish moves, it will skew the, ang the angle on the, on the, on the LMB. Because if, if you look at it like that, it's already...